Eisenberg Labar, one of our old time favorites, Josh. We're going old let's, school. Let's do a little reality checks, all a little right? Reality checks? Let's do a little reality check. Is that the name of your finisher? <laughs> that is is the that name. the name of your finisher? That is the name I of my finisher. I think so, yeah, yes. absolutely. All right, Josh, reality check number one. Seamus, the Celtic warrior, yeah. he is the most irrelevant money in the bank case holder ever. This is not a reality because there has been many people who have held this briefcase over the years, and he's not the most irrelevant. The most irrelevant, I would say, would be Kane because he rarely held it. He cashed in that night at Running in the Bay, so he never had an opportunity to hold the briefcase. I also think guys like, well, your boy, I apologize, Mr. Kennedy, he was the most irrelevant because obviously injury dethroned him and Edge, my man, cashed in. Funny how that happens that I like the guy who's actually successful. And last but not least, Damian Sandow, the most irrelevant, could have been Damian Sandow. Any three of these guys had more, or excuse me, had less relevancy than Sheamus. And the only good thing about Sandow, unfortunately, was the fact that his briefcase was turned to wood and rich mahogany. Because that's the only thing that Damian Sandow has been doing. Look where he's at now. If you're going to take shots at my boy, Mr. Anderson, <laughs> or Kennedy, I want to point out that it was a bogus the fact he had to drop it mm. because as we as we come to learn that well, they, they, the they made him drop it because yeah. they thought he was going to be out for no they made him drop it because they thought he was going to be injured for like 8 months and then he got a second opinion from a doctor and he was only out like 6 weeks well, so still, he really should have kept still. it 